Most seaside towns have got a pier which juts out into the sea, giving all manner of potential for photography. Looking back at the beach, looking out at the pier, going under the pier, so many different approaches. I'm going to show you a couple that work well for me. Normally on a sunny day, you position the sun directly behind you or at least to the sides. But today I'm embracing the sun and shooting directly into it so I can capture these beautiful bright white reflections on the sea's surface. It also makes it easier to render that background subject, the pier, into a silhouette. And I positioned it jutting out from the left hand side of the frame and ending slap bang in the middle for some additional drama. I'm also using this ledge here as a balance for the phone here to help me keep it straight to not wobble too much and to make sure that the image is absolutely square geometrically speaking I want the pier to be in the exact middle of the frame or at least that ride with the big post in the middle. Now I'm going to shoot this in black and white because I think it allows you to increase that contrast for even more drama and it also allows me to turn a blue sky into a more moody grey and this is the kind of picture that responds really well to applying even greater contrast when you post it or maybe adding a vignette to darken it in the corners and concentrate your focus on that subject in the middle. Piers by their very nature are long thin stretches jutting out into the sea and if you want to capture most or even all of it the place to position yourself is very close to one side looking down the entire length and this also provides a more interesting perspective on it, leading lines taking you into the subject. Now there's a couple of things to watch out for when you are photographing in this position. If there's a sign which tells you where you are, in this case Brighton Palace Pier, you want to include it I think and if I was positioned a little bit to the side um, or perhaps up or down a bit well then I wouldn't see all of those letters, it'd be blocked out and that's a bit messy when you're looking at that picture. The second thing to look out for, more importantly to me personally, is the actual position of the legs, the structure that's supporting the pier. I want those legs to be parallel to the edge of the frame, to be square to it. So that means being very careful about the rotation of the phone. You have to be careful about pointing up or down because that will angle those legs out to the sides. So once you square, the only other thing to watch out for is the actual position of the pier on the frame itself. Do you want the end of it to end in the middle of the frame or perhaps towards the side? Maybe wait for a crashing wave to give a bit of interest to the bottom of the frame or perhaps somebody walking past it's quite nice to give it a bit of context. I like this guy here doing his metal detecting. <laughs> 